one of the things that I did order from, okay, I'm going to talk about these really quickly. Um, we're at 29 minutes, so we're at least two videos. Um, I love Misty Purcell Luminous Fibers, Luminous Fiber Arts, and, um, but we're, we, it's really funny. We, we have some of the, we've stitched some of the same things, like to the T, and we love some of the same things. And then there are some things that I know I stitch that she's not into, and there's a few things that she stitches that I'm really not into. Um, but, but this market, I loved just about every single thing that she released, and I don't know what it was about it. But the very, very first thing that I saw that she was releasing at market is one of the things that I had Julie pre-order for me. And it's called, and you've probably seen it, but it's called Coffee First, and it looks like this. And I, it, I love the colors in this. It's a little bright from what I'm, you know, a little bright for me, but not too much. I love these roses. I think they're so cool. I love the whole idea of this, but the first thing I thought of when I saw this was two people. Um, Donna Letsky and from South Dakota, and she just started doing um, YouTube videos, last two videos. She is, um, she, like, she shed antics or something. Um, I'll try to scroll it here when I do the edit and uh, Dory Kehoe and now we've been at two different retreats together both Midwest retreats the three of us and the three of us um, are the early risers of the group we all three have a hard time sleeping and are all three you usually they're up before me and then I'm up and so we kind of started this little thing of um, meeting, you know, wherever, near, somewhere near a coffee, a coffee maker or by the coffee and um, having a cup of coffee and doing some early morning stitching, solving the world's problems and um, watching the sun come up. And so when I saw this, I, I thought, well, we have to do a, um, we have to do a sal. And so I ordered three copies of this and then Misty had mugs made with this picture front and back of the mugs, which I love that. And so I ordered three mugs. And so those went in the mail yesterday. And I'm super excited to do this and, um, you know, kind of have a little stitch along with my early morning uh, sisters. Uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be fun. I also loved this. And I loved the um, Farm Fresh Eggs. I loved this whole idea that these hang below. And I would really like to get this done before Easter, but I bet you I won't. I think that's so cute. And then this one was just sweet and awfully cute. A Robin's Discovery. Awfully sweet. Awfully sweet. So I ordered some other market things. Um, several, a couple of things from um, Blackbird. And of course a couple of things from Brenda Gervais. And yeah, just, just a variety of things. But um, then um, I actually did not see this as a market preview um, but I think it was my sweet friend Nicole Buckeye Stitcher who first showed it to me and I just died and I waited a really long time and then I went online and ordered it Where did I order this from I think I ordered it from Sassy Jack's Kit It Up but it's Little House Needleworks Kringle Kringles so if you haven't seen it, it's Kringle's Department Store, and it's just, you know, like the front of the department store and all the Christmas dressings, the window dressings at Christmas. And I I think this is just, it, it's, it's hard to see until you're close up, but it is so, the details in it, I mean, it's just, I just love it. So when I was growing up, um, I don't know. I probably, I don't know if I should talk about this, but I, I'm pretty sure my mom was bipolar and um, she was, she was a great mom, but she, she was either here or here and there was very little in between and she really struggled around the holidays. Um, um, she would get really, you know, really super depressed and, um, and just, 
she just didn't know how to, you know, she didn't have the resources. She wasn't born in a time where um, people were taught how to deal with their emotions and, you know, seek therapy. Like, that just wouldn't have been something she would have ever allowed herself to do. And so, um, so Christmas a lot of times was not, was not much at our house. Um, we rarely had a Christmas tree and a lot of times we really wouldn't even have presents or celebrate Christmas other than going to mass. And, um, but I think it was because she probably had seasonal affective disorder and was depressed in the winter. It was probably what it was, but you know, at the time and it was just, it just was uh, difficult for her. But in the first part of December, she was usually pretty okay, and we would always get dressed, and, and I mean, like, when my mom left the house and went out, she, you know, she was just from an, an, an older generation, she would have been, her birthday's in October, she would have been um, 90 this year, so, you know, she was, she was from qu a quite different time, and, um, so she she did not wear pants. She only wore skirts and dresses. And so if she were going out, um, not so much to the grocery store, but if she were going out, you know, going to the department store or going someplace, she would wear a nice dress and her nice coat and, you know, heels and stockings and the whole bit. And so we would always get dressed at, at a, in a one day, the early part of December when the department store is decorated and go to downtown Denver and window shop and look at all the window dressings in the department stores. And it was just a tradition that we had and it was such fun and I always looked forward to it. And um, that's what that reminds me of. And I just, uh, I, I just absolutely love this. So um, I'm not sure. I, I started it right away. And um, realized that, and so here's my little start, um, realized that the kit did not include, I, I'm looking at my neighbor, and we have elderly neighbors that live next door, and um, so we've been, you know, we've been keeping our distance from them, but just talking on the phone, and he's going for cancer treatments, and so I'm just looking at him to see how he, how he looks today he's he's a tough old guy um i realized that the kit did not include the dmc so i ordered the dmc and um i'm hoping that'll be here today or tomorrow and then i'll i'll get a, a better start on that um okay one more thing i first i i have decided i i've collected now enough b type things that i have a little uh, in one of my cabinets in the front entryway i have a whole section decorated for bees and I saw this by the primitive hair and just loved it home is where my honey is and so I got a little bit of a start on this one night I don't even know I think I really oh I remember I did excuse me I, re I realized I was doing it the wrong direction I was doing it that way and it needed to be done this way so I had to take it all out and redo it so just a little bit of a tiny start on that I have worked on about a thousand other things, um, but that, that's the gist of it. That's the, that's the biggest thing. Um, I had the extreme pleasure of meeting up with Susie Reiner, um, which is, uh, um, Susie Reno on Floss Tube, and we met up in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. <laughs> The idea was to meet up there when Maddie was in school there. It's about halfway between the two of us. She's in Minnesota. I'm in Nebraska. And, um, you know, spend some time with Maddie and hang out and stitch and whatever. Well, of course, Maddie was in Australia. We couldn't do it for a semester. We never found the time. So we decided, what the heck, we both like Sioux Falls. And we met up in Sioux Falls, and we had a ball. It was so awesome. And one of the really selfish things I've been thinking about lately is, if that trip had been postponed just a little bit, we wouldn't have been able to go. So, so blessed to be able to do that. It was a kick in the pants. It was really fun. We had a great time. We stitched most of the time. We did go to the Butterfly Pavilion. We did go to the stitching store in Beresford um, and spent way too much time there. Uh, but we stitched. We um, stayed in a, our, we had two rooms side by side and 
Uh, in one room we ate our meals and in the other room we did our stitching and we just, we had a ball. We really did. Um, so that was fun. 